Today's design systems typically consist of three parts, a style guide or multiple style guides, a pattern library, and a component library. A style guide contains information about and examples of how things should be done consistently across a product, website, or suite of products or websites. Probably the most common type of style guide relates to brand design, elements like font, colors, and trademarks. But UX style guides that tell design direction and visual and interaction design standards are necessary for any design system. Content style guides that include information about areas like language and tone of voice are also highly effective. Style guides usually come in the form of a document. They can be a section of an intranet, but are often saved as a PDF or some other static medium. This, of course, makes it hard to edit and brings forth document management issues. Pattern libraries include UI elements like forms and buttons, what they're for, and when to use them. Every pattern in the library has been usability tested and the design has been iterated, so the designs that make it into the library are the team's best work in that area. Component libraries take things to the next level and are UI patterns plus code. Organizations see huge cost savings at this point because not only do designers get a head start on design, but developers don't need to rewrite code that a colleague has already done. And just as UX designs have been tested for usability, code has been reviewed and improved. So the code that makes it into the library is tight and fast. The style guides, pattern library, and component library comprise the design system. As for the library you use for your design system, it'll depend on your front-end technology stack, but you may choose a popular tool like Bootstrap, Foundation, or Semantic UI. You may tweak one of these, or you may create your own design system. Why have a design system? They enable so much, like enormous time savings for designers, developers, and product teams better UX design and code inter and intra products, higher consistency in design, code, and brand, and increased team communication and collaboration. Positive byproducts of these things are more satisfied users and customers and a shared design vision among and across product teams.